You want a hot Cheeto? <laughs> Stay turned to the Into get an apology and an update of this channel. Nani? Who is this man? Ah! Take this and place it somewhere that needs the help of Irene. I'm assuming that woman meant the blessing of Irene. They doubt me, but I'll make them beg for mercy. I'll be Lord someday, but I'm... This... is all I can do. I heard something coming from this direction. Not every day we find a maiden in these woods. Now answer me! Who are you? Don't play coy with me! I can see right through you. You're playing the poor defenseless woman, but once I turn my back, you'll take me for all I'm worth. Enemy defeated. Xenix! What did you do? Nothing. She merely fainted from the mere threat of my presence. This maiden seems like no threat. She seems to be suffering from extreme exhaustion and hunger. Whoa! Now that you mention it, she's practically naked! <sighs> Xenix, as a noble guard, you should learn to be more respectful with your words. What? She is! Look at her! Give me your cape. What? Hey! It wasn't a request. Oh, come on! I literally just got that from Matelli. Wait, don't put it on her. We don't know where she's been. You should have kept your mouth shut about her attire then. Ugh. Carry her. We're going back home. We're taking her? To the village? We aren't leaving a defenseless woman for the fiends to feast on. But I defeated her. Xenix. I'll believe that when you defeat the infestation of rats at our guard quarters. Like I asked you to do over a week ago. Now, carry her! You've gotta be kidding me! Listen, with all due respect, Gareth. Please, hear me out. We're bringing an outsider to the village. With everything going on, do you think the people are going to keep listening to you? They're already blaming you for the death of our lord! There was nothing I could do about! 
I did everything I could. The least I can do now is ensure that nobody else dies. We'll talk more about the village situation later. Right now, let's get this maiden to safety. Now, let's move. I hope you know what you're doing, Sir Gareth. <laughs> 